Welcome to a special episode of the fans panel this week. Rather than reviewing, we're going to be previewing the upcoming fixture and what a fixture it is. The return of the rivalry. Manchester versus Leeds. The Mighty Whites versus the Red Devils. The Battle of the Uniteds. We're joined by both Leeds United and Manchester United fans, so let's see what they both have to say. Today we're joined by Jeremy and Katie from the Leeds fans panel, Mark from the United Stand and Tony from the Webby and O'Neill YouTube channel. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. First thing I want to start with is just talking about the rivalry from over the years and, and your memories. Mark, we'll start with you. Well, it's good you got Tony on because he's a little bit older than me and he'll be able to talk to you a bit further back. But I mean, I think my earliest memories in relation to United and Leeds would be obviously taking Canton off on you, which uh, basically kick-started our success uh, back in, I think it was, was it, uh, 92, 92, because it was weird then, the transfer window. We got him in November. Um, I, the one that I was, th when, when, when I was thinking about it, I mean, I remember his beating you 3-2 in the 99 season, which was obviously a big one. Nicky Butt scored a really good goal to win it. But the one that really comes out to me at, um, uh, was from Ellen Road. And I don't know why it, came into my, why it comes into my head, was um, we went there and we won 1-0. But uh, Sir Alex dropped David Beckham and it was massive news. Like apparently Brooklyn was ill the day before um, and David Beckham was in the stands at Ellen Road. I think Luke Chadwick played and I, th I think he might have scored. I can't remember who scored the goal, but we won 1-0. But uh, no, it's great to have Leeds back. I mean, you've not really been around the Premier League that much, have you? So it's, it's good to have Leeds back. And, you know, I'm sure Tony's going to talk about it. It's to, to certain United fans, this is a, there's a, the rival is absolutely massive. And I think for the younger generation, hopefully they're going to be renewed with that. Well, my memories go back to when I was 18. And unfortunately, that was in 1977. So it's a long way back there, Jack. <coughs> and it was a semi-final, FA Cup. And I was actually locked out. But there was thousands of us outside at Hillsborough. Ten minutes to go. Got inside. We beat you 2-1. And it was just a great day. But it was, a, it was FA Cup back then, the FA Cup meant a lot, a bit different now, it's a bit diluted. And then going forward, I will not go as far as like Cantona. I'd go as a memory. We had a, a trilogy against you. We had three games against Leeds United all in a week. Now, that was some experience as a United fan, go to Ellen Road three times in a week. We actually went once and it was called off in the same, you know, so we ended up playing you three times in the league, FA Cup, League Cup, and I think we came out on top over the three of them. So they, they was an experience to behold. It's uh, exciting, memories, great. Obviously, you know, you talk about rivalries. Uh, rivalries, would you call rivals selling your best player to us, Eric Cantona? Not the first one, there's been how many transfer sagas there have been between, between the two clubs, really. You know, you've you, you seen what Eric Kant and I have done, done for us. So thank you very much for that. And uh, <laughs> I'll leave you with the rest. My first memory is that cup semi final as well. I was probably eight or nine then, which unfortunately too young to get there. But I was uh, born and bred in Sheffield. So it's like being down the road, knowing it was going on, not really quite understanding what a cup semi final was. but even then knowing I hated, I hated that lot and uh, uh, really didn't like getting beaten by them in, the, in a cup semi-final. But obviously, uh, more recently, the happy memories of the uh, 1991 season where uh, they absolutely um, completely capitulated the last few games and uh, we deservedly uh, uh, beat them there to that title and uh, continued their uh, long run of... Uh, of, of not winning anything. And then obviously more recently, it was a, extremely pleasurable uh, being at Old Trafford for uh, the 1-0 uh, with uh, the goal at the Beckford end. Uh, I mean, it particularly joyful given that we were at our absolutely lowest ebb. Uh, I think they came out there thinking they just trounced us, but we, we played them off the park. So yeah, obviously a lot of miserable games and disappointments in between those, but yeah, those are certainly the uh, most enjoyable memories and uh, happy to renew this rivalry on the pitch. My, fa like my favourite moment is the Beckford goal at Old Trafford and 
you know, my memories are a lot more recent, but we lost my dad the month before that. So for, for me and my family, it was it was huge for us to to go to Old Trafford and, and to get get the win. Um my husband sat very quietly on the sofa, didn't utter a, a word, thankfully, as a as a lifelong Man United fan. But yeah, it's the, the last chance that we had to to get to a game. I was forbidden to attend Ellen Road because I was about 30 weeks pregnant nine years ago. Um, and it was, you are not going because you will just get into trouble. Um, luckily, it's not caused any issues in our marriage. Uh, Sunday will be interesting. I was going to say, Katie, what's the, what's the build-up like for, for Sunday's game? Has there been a bit of to and fro in the house? Yeah, so we have a, a a lucky TV where we take it in terms of like watch the football. So it, it will be interesting to see if we watch the game together on said lucky TV and who it will work for. Um, our son is a firm Leeds United supporter. There were two rules. He couldn't yeah. support Le- uh, Man United and he couldn't support Millwall. Anything else could go. And I have laid claim and he is a firm Leeds United fan. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be really interesting. We've both made a deal that we're going to try our very best not to lord it over one another depending on the result but I I really don't know it's great that the fans are back but a shame we can't go to the games Mark do you think having the fans would affect the game and, and who would it benefit more well it's at Old Trafford isn't it so I think we would benefit massively from that we've just had the Manchester derby and I mean, look, you can get a game like that in a derby. You can get that a game like that against Liverpool every now and again. But I think, you you know, we, we've seen at the weekend with, you know, Fulham against Liverpool. Like, did, did, did Fulham get that result, really, if they haven't got a couple of thousand fans in there? It makes a huge difference. And games like this are where it, it, it comes home sharper, what we've what we've all had to endure uh, in 2020. And I don't mean just in football. I mean, in, in general, you know, it's not been a good year, has it? But... No, I mean, this sort of game, like the Manchester Derby, you know, Liverpool, United, you want the fans in the ground. And these are the these are the games that everyone wants to be at. And these are the games that everyone wants to watch at home. And the atmosphere that, that, that's provided for the people who are watching at home, the fans are a huge part of that. It's, it will it'll be interesting, I think, suppose, in some ways, it, it, it probably benefits the away team. We've had a really good run away from home, but at home, we've not been so good. Um, so it probably benefits a lead side that will definitely play expansive football as they do under Bielsa um, and United's job is to to respond to that and try and you know sort this home form out but yeah without question you know these games need need the fans and, it, and it's a shame they're not and hopefully next year if Leeds stay up we'll, we'll get a chance next year. For all clubs I think all clubs are suffering uh, but I don't think from the Leeds point of view I don't I don't think you need fans I think all yours will be up for it uh, United, the the players what are out there aren't brought up on the tradition of the rivalry. Uh, they'll just see it as we're going for three points. Speaking of on the day, who is going to be the best player for each team? Mark, what player do you think will be dangerous for Man United and also for Leeds? Bruno Fernandes is the player, and I, I mean it's not it's not rocket science, is it? I mean he's come into this team. It's funny, actually, I knew a lot about Bruno Fernandes before United bought him. And um, I remember Gary Neville saying, you know, you've got to be patient with him. It might take time to adjust. It's hard to come in the middle of the season. And I said, I don't think he will. I don't think he, I think he'll hit the ground running, which is very, very difficult. But if anybody knew anything about him before he came to United, he's a stat padder in a nice way. He gets goals, he gets assists, even if he's playing badly. And, and in, in some ways, in a very watered down version, he's a bit like Cantona. He's come to that team and everyone's responded to him. And uh, I think we're top of the league since Bruno came in, if you accumulate the points. So he's the player, very pure and simple, if you keep him quiet. I'm not saying that people like Rashford or you know, Pogba's back in the team can't be a problem for Leeds, but Bruno Fernandes has been a, an absolute revelation for Manchester United. And you know, if you can stop him scoring or getting an assist or a penalty or whatever, then you've done a good job. From a Leeds point of view, I, I, I've got to be honest, I, I rate Bielsa. I think he's a really good coach. Um, and I've seen him a few times this season and there's plenty of players I could pick. But actually, I think United's biggest weakness is centre-back. The centre-back pairing is, is is a problem. And I've been impressed with Bamford. I think he's mobile. He's also good in the air. And I think if they provide him with the service and he's as sharp as he's looked this season, he might get a yard on our, our centre-back. So he's the player that, um, that worries me the most because also he's the lad who puts the goals in the back of the net. And uh, that's where the three points are going to be at United's. If we can keep him quiet... I think we'll get the we'll get the win. Rashford, for the simple reason, your system is man-to-man marking, and 
Ipswich, Rashford, you have one man on him. Once he's gone past you, you're finished. It's hard, always hard to pick one player out for us because we're, it really is all about the team with Bielsa and the system. And, you know, if we click like a, the well old machine like we can do on our day, you know, we can be very hard to play against. But if I had to pick one player, I'd say uh, Calvin because I think if he gets control of the midfield, if he can keep Fernandez out of the game, then I think that will go a long way to uh, uh, to uh, helping his um, win the game or, or be on top of the game. Um, I think probably like, like with Man U, I think our, our weakness is central defence, especially with only having one one fit central defender at the moment. So that could be interesting, could mean a few goals, but uh, I think if Calvin can get hold of the game, and spread the ball about like like he was able to against Everton and Arsenal, then I think uh, we could be well on our way. Would you say that Bruno's United's biggest threat then? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I would definitely. He, he's a one man in their team who you think he he can make them tick. He can make a difference. He can play that ball. He can do something a bit special. I think without him, uh, they're, they're a very very different side, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that Fernandez is definitely going to be difficult to play, but I do think if we we get the man marking right, it'll be it'll be to our benefit. I think his passing can be excellent, especially threading the ball through to to Rashford. He can do that through eye of the needle. I mean, I've watched unfortunately Man United quite a lot the sort of last fourteen years or so. Um, but I think that I think we'll do okay and if we can sort of. Break it down the way that Leipzig did. I think we've got a really good chance. I think there's a phrase someone came up with on Twitter. If you watch Click, you see the game. If you, if you don't, you, you don't see Click. I yeah. think Click's going to be really, really important. But Spider Boy, Melier, all day long. I don't know what world he came from, but thank God he's in ours. Yeah. Um, I think the saves that he's done this season for a 20 year old lad is just phenomenal. But I think. Other, I think Melier for us, Fernandez for you, and then whatever VAR fancies doing on the day, depending on who's running it, because we all know it's VAR Chester United. My final question to you guys is how do you see the game actually going? What's going to happen? Who's going to win? And what do you think the final score is going to be? I, I really hope there's a lot of goals. I mean, look, you know, we talk about the rivalry and, and if Leeds are going to be hanging around and trying to become a rival again, then... You know what an opportunity for uh, you know the world. Well, the, the, a lot of the world will be watching him because it's Man United. So I hope it's a big game and I hope it's got a lot of goals in it. I certainly think the way Leeds play, uh, there will be. I don't think the way Leeds play will allow us to play like we did against Man City because I think the way you play, like Tony said and and, and a few of you said, is uh, you know you sort of go man to man and if we sit back, it will cause us problems. So we've got to exploit that space as well. <sighs> I actually think we'll get a clean sheet for some reason. I fancy 3-0 United, I do. Um, yeah, I, th I, think we, I think we will score goals because of the way you play. I watched you play against Liverpool uh, and a few other times and I liked the way Leeds play because the opposition get a chance as well and, and they, they keep going. I saw the Arsenal game where you missed a lot of chances as well. So yeah, 3-0, I've got a funny feeling we'll get a clean sheet. Drive you mad this score. <laughs> it will drive you mad. I, I actually believe... We're going to get that many chances because of the way you play. And I think you'll get the chances. I actually believe it'll be a high scoring game, 4-2. Uh, Man United have, will, will be playing on the counter attack. They'll also be going on the attack. Leeds will be on the attack for 90 minutes. That's how they play. They, they're not going to change now. I think uh, we, we'll score a lot. You'll score two. Obviously, you'll disagree with that, but hey, you know. Well, we'll, we'll get Jeremy's take. Jeremy, what do you think? Oh, Jeremy will. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I agree we'll score two. Uh, yeah, spot on. Um, well, if, if you'd have asked me a couple of weeks ago, I, I, I'd have fan, actually fancied us uh, to win it. You know, we're, we're, we're playing some decent stuff. Um, don't think you look that great. But uh, that last couple of games, particularly um, against West Ham, we were... We're very dis I think that's probably the worst we've played under BLs, particularly second half. We just really weren't weren't at the races. So if we like that, uh, we'll struggle. But I fancy us to bounce back actually. I think I think it'll be there will be goals. I think I fancy a two-two draw actually. 
I always go in my heart. I'm not going to change that now. I do think we can we can pull some out of the bag. I think parts form away from from home will help us. I think that your back line will also help us. So I think that it's going to be end to end. I'm going with a two one Leeds win. I'm, I'm hoping Pat and Jackie sort themselves out and we we can bag a pair. But I think set pieces set pieces um, is my nervousness. So I'm mm. going two one Leeds. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be a difficult game, but an exciting one at that. And I'm sure we're all looking forward to it. Guys, thank you. Thanks a lot for joining thank us. Thank you very much, Jack. It's been a good look. It's been very interesting to get both sides yeah, of it. Yeah. Both sides right. of the game. The excitement is building for one of the biggest games of the season for both Leeds fans and Man United fans. Stay up to date with all things Leeds United on our app and our YouTube channel.